All right, how's it going, guys? Welcome to episode three of Tackle Tuesday. Today we are going to be showing you how to tie a basic rockfish setup. Uh, this will work whether you're fishing from shore, it'll work if you're fishing from a boat. I personally am a deckhand on a charter fishing boat, so we take people out seven days a week. Um, party boat fishing, as you may know it. And this is what we give you in the morning when you show up to check in. It contains two weights, 10 and 12 ounces and it contains two of these shrimp flies. So this is your tackle kit, this is what you get. So, in there, you take out one fly, you take out one weight. This is going to be the representation right here of our main line that I have tied right here. So we're just gonna treat this, that this is coming out of our pole, our main line, right? So you're gonna start by opening up your shrimp fly setup also buy these at most any bait and tackle shop for two dollars and 95 cents if they are more than that I'd still buy it because it's your best bet but no you're getting ripped off so two dollars and 95 cents get you these anywhere so here as you can see we have our rig we have two shrimp flies about 12 inches apart 14 inches apart each shrimp fly has a glow-in-the-dark bead as well as feathers and tinsel or reflective stripes as you can call it with about two inches there on one end you have a basic barrel swivel and on the other end you have a loop quite a large loop so this is where you're going to be attaching your weight and this is where you're going to be tying onto your main line so let's do the main line first if you've watched the other episodes of tackle tuesday I'm sure that you will know the cinch knot by now. So we will slip it through there, pinch it together, and we are going to twist, and twist, and twist, and twist. I'm using 50 pound test so the knot shows more. And then you are going to take this tag that you just tied, you're gonna put it through the hole which you have made by twisting, like so. Grab that, come down, put it through, the loop and pull so you're not when you are done should look like that or something like that a cinch knot so then you can take your covers clip always leave a tag so now that we have that tied on to our main line we can go to the bottom of our setup right here which is the loop and simply so you don't have to cut this rig you want to take your loop right here and you want to pinch it down all the way to the tip so that it's super small you want that tip to be very tiny put it through there right grab it bring it around your weight and pull it back that is how you want it, specifically so that when you are done fishing, you can keep your rig and don't have to spend another $2.95. Wrap it off, and you're good to go. Put it back through, wrap it around, and you're back to fishing. So this is your rockfish setup. You have barrel swivel that is tied to your main line, one hook, two hook, and your weight. So it will jig down like so. Those will flash, the feathers will dance, and you will get a fish. So another thing that I forgot to mention, guys, is with these flies, with the feathers that I just talked about, and with the beads that I talked about, it helps to put a strip, not a whole piece, a strip of squid onto your hook. You can cut a single squid, depending upon the size, into four or five strips, plus a headpiece. So you get about six pieces of bait out of one. Not to mention, if you run out of bait, you are not done fishing. You can drop this down, and you can catch a rockfish, a blue, a kelp greenling, an olive, a china, a black and yellow. You can catch any rockfish off of just this hook, and these feathers, no bait. You can drop this setup down right here that we just tied, and you can catch a fish with no bait. This is your lure, that is your lure, 
they will catch fish without bait. I have seen it hundreds of times and it will never not be that way. So that is your basic rockfish setup for fishing off a boat or from shore. Tune in next time for episode four of Taco Tuesdays with Dad. See you guys next time. <laughs>